To install a cooker, all that's required is a space for the tank, a 13 amp power socket, access to a waste pipe and a water supply underneath the work surface within 50 centimeters. If you're installing the Pro 3 or Pro 7 tank, you will need a hot and cold water feed. A combi can be used with only a cold feed. A minimum incoming cold water pressure of 2 bar is required, with a maximum working pressure of 8 bar. The cooker tank must be fitted in an upright position. If the tank is to be fitted in a cabinet with drawers, an optional mounting bracket can be purchased to suspend the tank from the cabinet wall. In the case of the flex, the weight must have space to hang freely under the sink. Dimensions of cooker tanks and taps can be found in our brochure or on our website. For a flex, fusion or mixer tap, there needs to be a 35mm hole on the work surface. The Nordic single tap requires a hole of 32mm. If you're installing the cube, we recommend leaving at least 10cm of free space behind the cube tank for ventilation. The cube must be placed within 90cm of the cooker tank and requires an additional 13 amp power socket. The kitchen cabinet in which the cube is installed must be sufficiently ventilated to ensure optimal operation. We therefore recommend cutting an opening in the rear panel of the cabinet. If there is not enough free space for ventilation behind the rear panel, we also recommend making an opening in the bottom of the cabinet, underneath the cube, for further ventilation. Full details of this can be found in our cube brochure.